Hey, welcome to anyone who is attending via Zoom and everyone here today. Um, I will call a meeting to order. Um, we will have a meeting. We cannot make any uh, final decisions on any items because we are lacking in quorum to make those kinds of decisions for the day. But we can still go through our agenda. We can have discussions and um, see where that leads us for today. So, um, do we have anybody in the public, Janet, that has a comment or would like to make a comment? I don't have anyone on Zoom. Okay. Um, I don't, the mayor has not show, uh, Zoomed in yet. Oh, nope, she just popped on, literally just the second. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, welcome, Mayor. Hey, sorry, I had a customer on the phone. I was trying to get off. Yeah, here you go. <laughs> Hold on, let me look at my sound <laughs> over here. Can you hear me now? No? Hello. Can you hear me? I can hear you. The owl. Okay, let's try it again. Can you hear me now? No. Speak. Oh, poop. <laughs> I am. Yeah, I, hear you. <laughs> I am speaking. Can you hear us? Give me a thumbs up. <laughs> How about? We cannot hear you. Can you see my my chat? Oh, I heard. I think I'm hearing. Oh, did you hear me? Well, she is typing information to us, so I just I can't read it. I have to turn around. Tech support. Oh, it just went there. Check chat. <laughs> That's a good one, Chris. I like it. <laughs> you see that it keeps melting right over there. with no speaker. Can you hear me now? No. Okay. What is that, Red? So she said, um, so I talked to Bill yesterday. He thinks a January meeting is premature and wants to get the council to have their discussion first. Okay. Whatever they choose mm -hmm. to do. It's fine. We'll uh, we'll uh, be ready to meet when they're ready Do you for see us. The exclamation point in the audio. Yes. See, so maybe there's something with this guy. Speaker, oh, saying headphones is your speaker. Yeah. Sorry, I'm just gonna redo this guy right here. Can you hear me now? No. You're gonna reload. 
Hello. Now we have a call. On. How you doing, Kim? I'm What's your little travel? Travel? Here. Little well, travel. before I went to us, Bill had been volunteering at Liberty Launch Academy, and then they said we need a kindergarten teacher. So we come back. I was like, sure. I've been retired three years. I can do kindergarten again. I've been taught kindergarten for 18 years. Oh, I'm much boy. older. <laughs> oh boy. So I have glitter everywhere. And, uh, <laughs> You, uh, I'm glad to see that after not doing it for 18 years, you still have occasion for those. Like riding a bike. Yeah, that's true. That's very good. Okay. So the audio is still. We're trying to get audio so we can hear the mayor's uh, input. It's just this guy, we're not supposed to have audio on. This is just video. This guy right here. Okay, well, we'll just have to do chat with her. Yeah. And if she's got if she's got something up again. Check chat. <laughs> this is fun. I don't think it is. So even if you select instead of the headphones, you select some other speaker. It's just what you're seeing is this guy, uh -huh. and this guy only runs the video. The sound is supposed to come out of the out. And that's not an option you can check by here. Clearly, I just needed to turn the volume up. I think so. Whatever. Oh, am I back? Oh my gosh. <laughs> you can hear me? Turn the volume up. We literally just needed to turn the volume up on the owl. And I thought like something was wrong with my computer. Te te technological uh, prowess award of the year. Yes, thank you, Mark. Well, now we get to talk to you. Good. All right. And we have a quorum. All right. So you uh, said something about Phil would like to change the meeting time. Yeah, so I talked to Today. Phil yesterday. And um, he just said, you know, he'd rather have, you know, have the council pick up the discussion um, again, if anybody chooses to do so, they may not. Um, and he said until they, until the council decides to have that, that next discussion that, you know, really sitting down um, with a joint meeting is probably premature. So uh, I'm all for that. Just, you know, let's, let's kind of see what happens over the next month with regards to them, um, you know the the council wanting to to put it back on the agenda to talk about the ordinance or not. So um, it, that's their that's their decision. So um, we'll kind of yeah. just kind of keep keep it on the back burner. Um, excuse me, and um, we'll kind of see what goes from there. Okay. Well, yeah. Just let them know that if they want us to talk, want to talk to us, we're willing to do that. Yep, I will. Thank you for your patience with our volume. <laughs> no, <laughs> no I problem. I want to go back to where the signs are up. Ten chat. <laughs> <laughs> and add a little okay. bit of all right. Thank you, Chris. No problem. I'm sorry, I, I I jumped in where I should have. I shouldn't jumped in when I shouldn't have. It looks like public comment is before me, so I apologize. Oh no, we had we had asked for public comment right oh. before you jumped off. You okay. Right. And then okay, super. The, uh, we are. We haven't got to the approval of minutes, which we can do now since we, can we have a quorum. So, yeah. we, have okay. so we can we have a. I move to approve the minutes. A second. Okay. Minutes are approved. Okay, so we have public comment, mayor comments. So now we're on to reports. Great, okay. and actually, you guys, I, the the customer I was on the phone with had had something I need to try to resolve here in the next 30 minutes. So unless you guys have questions for me, I'm probably gonna have to jump off. No, I think we're all good. Great, I will I will be at my desk if you need to dial me back in. Um, but yeah, I need to go solve this person's problem before they go on vacation. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Thanks guys, bye-bye. Have a Merry Christmas, everybody, if I don't talk to you.
Sue, thank you. Thanks. All right. So, um, Mark, anything for us to, to be uh, informed of? So, just a couple of things. Um, you heard the mayor talk about the proposed joint meeting. Um, I'm glad that she went before me because I was going to talk about potential schedule date. So, it looks like um, that's uh, we're going to press pause on that and we'll come back to it. Um, as you all probably know, on December 6th, uh, Council adopted the fiscal 2023 budget. So that's uh, done. January 1st starts a new fiscal year. Um, and the only other thing I think of, of consequence to bring to your attention, and this doesn't necessarily have a direct impact on you as a board of trustees, but it's something that in the future we may be able to use to accomplish different things that you may want to target. And that is the Community Engagement Commission has been working on identifying a community engagement platform that the city hopes to purchase in the early stages of the new fiscal year and implement. And so once that occurs, we'll be able to do all kinds of, you know, engagement outreach, surveying, all of that kind of thing um, in a variety of different ways. And so that will be available for, you know, the, the, all kinds of uses that we could find for, for different applications throughout the city. So keep that in mind as things go on. Yeah. And and that's really all I have. And if anyone has any questions, I'll be happy to try to address them. Uh, the, the platform, is it, um, uh, it, does it become a part of the city website? Is that how, how the platform works or how, how would that work? Yeah, it wouldn't, uh, we, we would definitely have uh, access points from the city website, um, but uh, this would be kind of a, if you've heard of software as a service, this would be like any other application that you would use. You would, uh, regardless of where you uh, entered the gate, you would go to the designed uh, site that, that we put together using you know, templates and arranging it in the way that we wanted to present information and get feedback. So, oh, yeah. cool. You would definitely enter it through the city's website. Through the web, city's website. Yes. Yeah. Sometimes I find the city's website a little bit challenging to uh, navigate. So that's, that's kind of why I asked that question. And I don't know if there's any uh, help to make it easy. Because if you're going to do something like that, it's nice to make it easy for people to be able to get to it. But, I have found it when I go in and I try to get to mm -hmm. oh, darn it. I <laughs> think everybody's yeah. website would be that. Well, and, and to address that point specifically, we've had a conversation within the last, I don't know, a couple of weeks, um, acknowledging that we've heard that feedback from a variety of different places. And so what we've asked staff to do between now and the end of the year is, is go through and make sure that all of the information that's there is, is accurate. Um, and then the, the second step and probably the third and fourth steps after that are to do some formatting and organization that may make some more sense to make things easier to find and make them more intuitive and things like that. So, so yes, we, we hear you and we've heard others that have had similar comments and we're taking some steps to correct all of that and improve it. Got it. Good. All right. Well, thank you all for coming in tonight. Library report, which I can't go to the meetings I until so, summer. So I'll fill in. <laughs> <laughs> Back to the old role. Yeah. So I'll fill in on the press. They uh, they were they had a meeting that wrapped up their their year. They had a very successful year fundraising. Um, they've upped their budget for the library so that the library can offer a few more things to our community, such as symphony tickets. Which is pretty cool. Yes. I want to get in line for that. Oh, uh, for extra tickets. <laughs> I, I've got tickets, but I want extra ones for certain certain uh, pro programs. Yeah, uh, I'm really pleased. Um, we've been talking with the symphony, and they kind of do a program with the library where you purchase a number, certain number of tickets, and they will match it. Oh. oh and so we're going to be able to get 40 tickets for each of the shows that we go to, which I think is a wow. really big number for at least 40. 40. 40 tickets. Really yeah. You know, for the size of our community, I think that is that's huge. That's huge. Yes. Wow, that's me. That's yeah. good to hear. When we offered it 
they did a pilot program, I want to say 2018. We got like five tickets. Right. So 40 tickets. Well, that's that's going to be that's incredible. Crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. I think people will be very happy to hear that, especially as popular as the program is here at that, you know, their, their, their um, summer, summer, summer program movie. that yeah. they do that they're huge. Yeah. So that's very cool. So they did that, and uh, that's on top of MAC tickets uh, and that are available to people. Um, that's the Museum of Art, which is also pretty darn cool. It's fun to go there when they have really nice um, things. And they uh, brought in some new uh, new um, officers. So the uh, the new president for next year will be Lola Douthat. Uh, the new um, uh, Vice President will be Joanne Maribello, her sister. Um, secretary will stay the same. Um, and that is um, Betsy. Uh, uh, um, I'm getting on my Betty. Oh, no, Betty's the treasurer. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah Betty. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> sorry, Betty's the treasurer. And the secretary is. Sharon Sells. Sharon Sells. Thank you very much. I wouldn't, I would have not gotten that out of my mouth. And then uh, my wife, Sue, will uh, move from president to the uh, um, at-large uh, representative on, uh, on their uh, office reports. And all around Friends Library cheerleader. <laughs> She's so chipper for energy to me. Yeah, it is. She, she brings a lot of energy to the <laughs> sure. Yeah. So, uh, so anyway, so they, that, and they also are um, uh, putting it out there uh, for their um, uh, Valentine's Day baskets. They're already working on that project and asking for people to, um, if they have any ideas, get together. And if the, anybody would like to, to work on a basket and donate it, they would be very happy to receive that donation in that basket. So, very, very active group, very successful group. I forgot the uh, the total amount of money. Oh, and then I uh, there's one other thing I've got to say. They did. Um, um, uh, my wife applied for the grants for a grant through the estate. Uh, that took a long time to work on that grant in order to get everything lined up. But once it was all lined up, the, the state uh, fulfilled the grant for seven thousand four hundred dollars to the to the Friends of the Library. Wow. So that was wow. another Huge big challenge that they were uh, on top of the. I think they made six thousand dollars off the soiree. Wow. So. Um, uh, on top of that, and then they had a very successful book sale this this year. They and they had an eighteen hundred dollar book sale, which is not really what happens in the fall. It's usually not the biggest one. The one is usually in June, so it was a very big book sale. So they they had a very successful year, very successful year. So did I miss anything? No, it's just one of those things. If you think about the books that they sell at the book sale, most of it's a dollar. Yeah. A few things are more than a dollar, and some things are less than a dollar. That's like it. That's at least eighteen hundred books yeah. that they got rid of that they sold. You know, yeah. it's not something where they're making twenty dollars per thing. So yeah, they got they got. A, we had so many book donations this year. It was incredible. Yeah, and we have a bunch waiting. <laughs> we have a bunch in waiting. Yeah. I mean, I say I say a bunch. A bunch. <laughs> we have a a storage room full of books waiting to be gone through to get ready for the next book sale. And Kathy Weisbach spends hours and hours and hours going through all those books. And so, um, very, very uh, good uh, group of people to support our library. They do a super job. And our newest member of the Friends of the Library is Mr. Tim Olson. So, yeah. He attended his first meeting and gave his money to join. So that was exciting. So that's all good. All good. All right. So uh, we don't have a city council representative. So we'll have to um, uh, try to appoint someone or maybe someone who uh, our new, maybe our new council member will be, uh, will be okay with that. And what you like I, to do that. I can do it now. I'm too well. There's not one in the next week, right? When, when is There's one on the 20th. Um, so next Tuesday. So next Tuesday is my last part of the class. But that's fine because <laughs> I have to go. All right. <laughs> okay. Well, then we'll just, you can be that person yeah, for us. And that's a good That'd be good. Thank you. 
So let me switch to my stuff. And now we're on to Jandy. So I have my report for November. Um, I had a few things from our statistics that I really wanted to point out to you guys. Um, the main thing, um, it's November. November is usually a slower month for us. Um, we can see that we have, we're down about 100 checkouts for the month, which isn't a huge amount, but we're down a little bit from last year. Um, our Overdrive downloads are staying pretty steady at over 2,000 a month, which is, you know, a huge chunk of people downloading materials. Um, Jenny, what kind of materials do they download? Is that just ebooks or what, what other kind of things? They have ebooks, e audiobooks, and they also, as of this year in 2022, they started doing magazines where they have, you know, like a million different magazines, you know, like you'd see in the aisle at Walmart. Like they have a huge selection of magazines. Um, they started that this year and they looked at the statistics um, in September, October and put them up to the directors and we've decided to continue with that service. So that's really nice since um, libraries nowadays don't really tend to buy serial collections to house, you know, in the public library. We have six or seven, but ours are mainly kids titles. Our main, you know, in-house magazine that we have is like consumer reports mm -hmm. um so that's really nice that they have that um, available online um the main thing i wanted to update you guys on is our meeting room use um i looked at the numbers for october november and december and we're averaging over 20 meeting room uses a month wow. which is um more than we've ever had yeah. um our study room if you go look on the calendar, it is booked almost every single day of this whole month that we are open. That's cool. That's cool. Yes. So our study room is hugely popular. We have people calling on the phone. We have people sending in requests. We have people just walking in the door when you know we don't have uh, reservations and just using the room. So um, I think it was Tim who suggested we heavily track mm -hmm. how much our meeting room is getting used and how much our study room is getting used. Um, so that we can examine those statistics for when we build the new building. You know, do we need three study rooms? Yeah. Do we need two? Do we need four? You know, we can make that determination by looking at these stats. I'm glad you keep track of that. So yeah. that will be valuable. But it's it's been really busy. We bought a whiteboard that we put on the front of those glass doors. And then first thing in the morning, my clerk will write, you know, meeting room, you know, study room reserved at noon, two, four. So that we can see on that door really easily who's reserving the room and people can see that as they come in and we can let them know yeah it's um free if you want to use it for the next hour yeah so Great. that's fabulous yeah Sweet. um all of our furniture has come in i'm going to scroll down so you can see our picture um oh, so um we got two new display shelves um, the first one is our new new shelf. So Michaela has moved all of our new books, audiobooks, DVDs onto this um, display. It doesn't spin. I feel like it kind of looks like it spins, but it does not spin. But it is, you know, that octagon shape. So that's where we're going to house all of our new materials. Our new materials used to be housed right in the corner behind that. Um, but we've had to move our holds there because we get so many holds now. Um, particularly during COVID, that shelf was, you know, completely overwhelmed. But um, we're still getting enough holds that we need that space for holds. Um, so we moved our new books over to um, the large print section, which is our very first big shelf. And it was kind of in the back corner. So people didn't notice that it was there. And so Michaela wanted to get this new shelf so we could put it right there first thing when you walk into the library. The other thing that we've been watching with our staff is that our large print collection, um, we've been trying to do weeds of it, but every single book is in use. We're getting really, really great statistics with our large print. And so um, since we moved 
all of our new books here, that opens up two huge stacks of shelves so that we can expand our large print collection. So we'll get be able to bring in a couple more hundred books um, for people to um, check out. So. so Danny, is this top picture, is that on the right side going into the children's room? So is it's it, is that those new those there? It's right. So you come in our big automated door mm -hmm. right here. Oh, wow. Okay. Yes, yeah, so it's right when we first walk in the door, we have our um, our DVDs and our holes. So it's right to your right when we walk in the front doors. So that's why it's right there visible for everyone to see kind of how, like, how it used to be before COVID. Um, we also got this to the left. We got another display shelf. That's just for our monthly displays that we do each month. So now we have a real display. It's not all white. Folding, um, folding table. <laughs> so it's a real display. Um, Stephanie, one of our volunteers, does our monthly display there each month. Mm -hmm. um, so that display is specifically for adult materials only. Um, the last two things are we got our on the bottom we have our caterpillar bench, which is our super colorful stools. Mm -hmm. um, the they are movable, so each day. You look over there, and the kids have moved them into a new um, formation. But they're really fun and colorful and poppy. Um, and then lastly, we got our new children's room. Not a couch. Long blue benches. So they're movable. Mm -hmm. So you can take them apart. So you can smush them all together. Um, we wanted something in the kids' room that was a wipeable so that we can wipe it down for germs and also if anyone has an accident and also COVID, we learned that we need to have stuff that you can sterilize. Um, it's lower to the ground for the kids um, and we wanted something that was um, modular. So there are times when we have to do story time in that room. If you have a big, huge mess and couch, you can't move it very easily. So we can, you know, line these up if we want to, you know, have all the parents sit in the back into little rows. Um, we can move it all around for story time or, you know, at the Halloween party and different events that we host at the library. So we're really excited. Some of the stuff I ordered back in April. And so I was nervous it would not come before the end of the year and our new budget and that sort of thing. So everything showed up um, right before Thanksgiving and right after Thanksgiving. So that worked out perfectly. Um, I have finished up all of the library employees' performance evaluations. Um, it's, you know, just good business to do this each year um, and, you know, review if their staff how things are going. But we also are required to do those for our staff increases. Um, so I finished my last one today. And so I've turned all those into Anne Marie. Um, and if your, our employees have a good performance evaluation, then they will get to move up to their next step um, for 2023. So could you tell, for, I think I know this, but I'm going to ask you to do it anyway. How many employees are under your supervision that you evaluate? So total at the library, we have a staff of nine. The nine includes me. So there are eight employees under me. Um, three are full-time and the other five are part-time. The majority of my staff is 30 hours, but I do have one 25-hour um, employee and one super part-time employee that's about 12 hours a week. So the three full-time under you, is there's, is it two other librarians or just one other librarian? Um, at the moment we have one. So there's Jandy, myself as a librarian, and then Michaela is our teen and adult services librarian. And then we have two associates. So we have our children's associate, Miss Erin, and Georgette, who's our circulation associate. And then the last thing I just wanted to update you on is our holiday closures. So tomorrow the library will be closed. Um, this is not due to holiday. Um, the library, we're undertaking a collection project, collection maintenance project. I don't remember how much I mentioned to you guys last time, but we're relabeling our juvenile nonfiction books. Um, so we're closing for the whole day to work on that project. So we can hopefully get a huge chunk of that done. We also have the city um, Christmas lunch tomorrow as well. Um, but for the holidays will be closed Saturday the 24th, Sunday the 25th, 
and Monday the 26th. And then the following week will be closed for New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, and then um, January 2nd. And that's everything I have. That's good. I'm glad you got those uh, um, that furniture in. It got through the supply chain. Yes, it did. <laughs> it finally got here. <laughs> that's good. All right. So we don't have any new business to go over. Um, we can um, check off the upcoming meeting with the city council. That's on hold. And um, we'll have an update on the trustees' bylaws. And I think uh, you sent I sent an email yesterday. An email yesterday with that information. Red lines and suggestions. So the version, um, I found the version I have in my binder is slightly different from the version that Jandy had in her files. But I don't, because my version in my binder was updated April, um, which is the date that Jandy's file is dated, updated April. So I don't know if, and, and the, the changes are, are minor between the two. I just want to point them out. I don't know if yours looks like that. In your seven. Seven. Mm -hmm. um, here it is. Yeah, it looks like you've got the yeah, it looks like you have you've got the same. And there's a page at the back that says as amended April 2000, the second day of April 2015. But the like I said, the 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 difference between this and the other are very minimal. But on top of it, we're amending the bylaws anyway. So it doesn't matter which version you start okay. with. Right. <laughs> as long as we're voting. I just wanted to make sure you all were aware that there's a couple differences. One of them was in here, it's written in 119B, um, but the physical copy is 119. And then the um, duties of the Board of Trustees is slightly different, but the things that are in the file were the things I have to take out because it's things like accepting gifts because that's what the terms of liberty rate. Right. So, um, and oversight of buildings, which is something the city is according to the update of buildings. So, let me kind of think what best to you. So, do you have the files? Do you want? I can either log into the Zoom and then share my screen. I'm happy to share my screen. Or you can share the red line version. Um, so, the one with the newer date. Okay. So, which one of the PDFs? That it's the word doc. It's the one showing the red lines. Okay. I'll share my screen. But yeah, on the phone, you don't always see red yeah, lines. I was just saying. Yeah. So, so, we'll just screen it. Okay. Got it. Um, so go up to the review page at the top. Sorry, what do you mean? The, up at the very top in the blue, which one is review? Okay. Okay, review. Let's stop sharing that. Okay, and what do I? And say all markup. Sorry, I found it. Show markup. Oops, excuse me.
<laughs> okay, so so one of the changes I I made was to say ordinance 119, take out the B and just say as updated from time to time because it will continue to be updated. It may be updated next year. And so then we will have to update everything to exactly. say ordinance and you don't have to update the bylaws to say 119C. Mm -hmm. um, so that's the that was the first change. And then you can just scroll down. Um, so with it, we've got the five member members as um, that there's no change there. There's no change to the term of office. It's a five-year term. You can't be for more than two consecutive terms, and then you have to take a one-year break before you can be on it again, just so that you know what the terms are. So for section three, disqualifications, um, I updated this to say any members who move out of the political subdivision, and if you look at political subdivision, it can be a city or a, but it, 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 it's just a general term for whatever your, whatever the city is using as their jurisdiction, their, yeah, their their title, um, or who has a continuing conflict of interest shall be responsible for notifying the secretary of the board. And I said, and resign because the next sentence says, upon receipt of such notification, the position shall be declared vacant. So if if you move or if you have a continuing conflict of interest, you have to resign. Um, it just wasn't clear in, okay, <laughs> notify the Secretary of State, and then it's going to, or not Secretary of State, Secretary, and then it's going to be declared vacant. Um, so that was that. And then with Section 4 officers, um, I added in the, what we had discussed about that the officers are the President and the Secretary elected to a two-year term by majority vote of the boards every I, I just put in, it can be anything, but as a first thing, at every odd year at the January meeting of the board. So that would mean next January. In 2023. On 2023, in the odd year, we would vote on a new yeah. president and secretary. Or not new, but we would take a vote. Right. Um, I moved and remaining numbers because I, I just moved that to a new section. Um, the remaining board members. So this, given that, Brad, you are going to be the representative for the Friends of Liberty Lake, we may not want to say remaining board members. I think we want, because you're president. What remaining board members means the president and secretary can't serve as a liaison to anything else. So I think we may want to state just board members Instead of reading. Well, I think the only reason why I have been is because I've kind of just been filling in yeah. for people who haven't been able to be there at any particular time, which is, you know, fine. I get that I do go. It could be whoever, who, it could be someone else that goes that, that does that, that chore. Yes. So I'm not sure. But if we leave it as remaining, you can't be that liaison. That's true. So if we just say, if we just if say, we just say board, board, board members, members shall serve in liaison positions to the city council and the friends. I think that's good. It can be whoever the board members. Like, like yeah. half the movies, we best, we can't yeah. get it covered. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think that allows flexibility. <laughs> yes. And I think we need that some flexibility. Yes. Yeah. And so then, that's good. And then it's shall be rotated in these liaison positions for two on two year terms or is otherwise appointed by the board. Which allows us also the flexibility to okay, somebody is gone for three months, so we're going to appoint this person in the interim, and then they won't go back. Um, I like that. And other positions will be filled as needed if something else comes up. I added, we should meet once a month at the city hall because that's where we're meeting. Yeah. Library or at a time and place designated at a previous meeting. Um, yeah. Do we need the same thing about it being hybrid? Um, do we uh, need to say either a white hybrid or does that, is, or can that be just? Yeah, a, I don't know if it has to be in the bylaw. I don't, I don't think so. Either. Either. No? Okay. Okay. Um, 
Uh, yeah. But yeah, we should add to the call yeah, yeah, for meeting. Or at the time and place designated at the previous meeting. Right. If at the previous meeting right. you say, or at every meeting, you say it's at the city hall and hybrid mm -hmm. with Kevin. I yeah. think they're posted as hybrid anyway they are. And yeah. to the city uh, uh, website. So I think we're okay there. Or yeah. as the rules change coming out of the, I guess it would be the Secretary of State's office or the mm -hmm. equivalent, right? That will define whether they can be hybrid, all in person, all hybrid, and you would just go with whatever the current rule is. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. And as long as we are are making that information public, then yeah. we're covered by the rest of the sentence. Um, although it says at the previous meeting, or at the time and place designated at the previous meeting, maybe we we'll want to get rid of at the previous meeting or at the time and place published. There you go. Posted? Posted, posted. posted. posted publicly. Posted to the city website. Well, I would just say posted, posted publicly, publicly. Okay. because um, we don't know. It could be on this platform. Mm -hmm. Um, then section three quorum, a quorum for votes and transaction of business shall consist of a simple majority of the board. Uh, transaction of business is sort of um, meaning votes. I just want to read it here. Um, foundation reports was crossed out in Miami, um, and there is no foundation now. So if you scroll down, oh, change. Sorry, in the battery. <laughs> uh, so foundation is a foundation. Uh, so this is this is the agenda of every meeting. Um, uh, uh, can we add to that um, approval of um, approval of um, which we have done now the uh, agenda or change to the agenda. Can we add that to our uh, uh, or sure. approval of agenda changes? So as like three under public comments yeah. or or under call to order probably. Yeah, because I think it, yeah. if it's not on there, I know I would yeah. Okay, I think, well, I think okay. it, you know okay. someone might come in and want, want to make an amendment to the agenda. Yeah. Okay, I'm very well the agenda is now number two. And do we need to add action items for when we make a vote on something? I don't think so because it's under one of these. If we are making it's under either business, business, or like right now, other business. What is this? This is a uh, this is ongoing business. Ongoing business. So I mean, I, I think that's where we make our usually. Uh, well, our ongoing work. business is ongoing. <laughs> uh, well, it's always going to be added to there. I think. Um, well, it just says other business in notebook. So we could we could do and number ten could be new business. Number eleven could be ongoing business. I, I don't know that. Okay, so what are our current? Our current is call to order, approval of minutes, comments, reports. Then we have new business. Call to order, approval. Call to order, call to comments. Oh, oh, I can't. Um, so our current agenda, call to order, approval of minutes. So we have. Like this does not match what our current agenda has. <laughs> so that's why we need to do all this. Do we want? <laughs> but, we are, but yeah. do we want to? Like we could just have, you know, call to order, approval of agenda, um, approval of minutes, comments, reports. We don't have to do. Uh, it, you could you could just call it business. Um, new business, ongoing business, action. Like, yeah. This agenda seems to have been working for us. So. Yeah, it, it has been working for us. I mean, it, it, it's, it's not a problem. I think comments would be public 
I think the mayor should go into reports mm -hmm. uh, instead of comments. I think she should just be on I there. think it's comments because she doesn't give a formal report. Yeah. She's not required to be here. Oh, so it's okay. only the mayor can give comments if she's here and needs to say something. So does she even need to be on our agenda? If she has, if uh, uh, if we invite her here to have to, to give us a, a report or, or weigh in on something, does she need to be on there? I think if, if, if I think comments is a bullet, whatever then, we have on the agenda under there is fine. Yeah, okay. it, can, it can always have mayor's comments okay. as, as that bullet, but we don't need that in the bylaws. Your bylaws should be the very bare minimum. Okay. Mm -hmm. I agree. Um, so do call to order, approval of minutes, comments, reports, call is to order, business? approval of agenda, approval oh, excuse of agenda. Me. comments, approval of minutes. Yeah. Reports. You just call it business, which would, would include new business and ongoing business. Mm -hmm. And then action items. Mm -hmm. Then business and action items. Um, business. Do, do do we take care of our our action items usually separate from business? Because yeah, it's something you vote on. That's just how it is done at city council. That's how they have their they have their <laughs> workshops and then they have their um action items where they have to vote to approve things. Okay. Um, so. And then we have mm -hmm. next regular meeting and then adjourn. Mm -hmm. okay. Then we have what after next that? regular meeting and then adjourn. Do you state when the next meeting will be? Well, I think. We should also have on there is any uh, any uh, uh, items for the agenda that we want to put on. Someone can think of this. So if we have to, if we are working on something a new business and it needs to be added, we need to make sure it's added. That would be taken care of in the minutes, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay. But I, I, I mean, if, I, I don't think we we can have an have an agenda item that is items for next agenda. And I just ask at the end anyway, yeah. so. I mean, it doesn't have to be a, a, a specific on there for. I mean, I, I would say I just ask. It's a set bullet on your next regular meeting. Mm -hmm. okay. Got it. Okay. Action items. Yep. That works. Okay. Uh, section six, that's just changing my way to LO. And I don't think that's how you reference it at the top. Um, the, that was just. There was some weird wording in the sentence, and it was even I don't know weird in here. Um, board committees, the president can appoint ad uh, hoc committees. Uh, okay, and then duties of the board of trustees. So these two bullets are, that were in the electronic file but not in our binder needed to be removed anyway because we don't have custody and care. Of the property that's the city. Yes, um, I I'm wondering if these were the old ones prior to the 119B update to the ordinance. I think that's what this is. Is that it's pasting the original ordinance because the ordinance lists the duties of the board of trustees. Um, so I'm thinking that this pasted in here was the old one because the new one updated and said and took these two things out. Huh. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. So I, I think that was like an old one. And, 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 like yeah. this, this electronic copy already said when it can be. Yeah, so I think it's weird. There's They must have just forgot. Yeah. yeah. So um, I don't, I would just say that these are not real red line updates. Yeah. That it's wrong. Yeah. And so our new one will be right. <laughs> um, and then accept such gifts of money. We don't. The foundation does. Um, yeah. yeah, the city council will city accept. Council. Um, Oh, okay. Donations for us, so that yeah, yeah. The, board board that. We, the board doesn't. We don't have any. Yeah, yeah, the board doesn't. Um, and then on librarian, it says the the librarian shall be considered, but there's more than one librarian, so I changed that to be the director. Yes. Um, and I have a type of under L O M L. You should be a property that's not petitionist. Um, 
and then amendments. These bylaws can be amended at any regular meeting with the quorum present by majority vote, providing each the amendment was stated at the preceding meeting, that's this meeting, or issued in the call to order or was spent at least 30 days prior. So there's a quorum present at this meeting. We are reviewing these at this meeting. We will, I will make sure this gets sent out to everybody on the board list as soon as this meeting's over. So that's also should be the 30 day notice. So we're covered in how, so we can adopt these if we're all in agreement at the next meeting. Okay. Um, and then the, 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 you know, the, the page of who adopted it and what date, and we will do that upon adoption. Thank you for all that work. Yeah. Yes. And so I will also include our new updated version of this in our agenda for next month. Um, and yeah. our bylaws draft is also posted on the city, sorry, at the library on our bulletin board. Okay. okay. So publicly on the bulletin board, and then it will be posted electronically with our agenda for next year. Yeah. And for we should public access. note, I don't know if this needs to go in a report to City Council or anything. I mean, we're not doing anything. Um, so we're just cleaning them up to to match like meeting and people and appointments. So uh, I don't think we need approval. No, I don't know. No, 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 it's just something that we can update is, in this our is just rules the our quarterly for report. Operation, exactly. Basically, for for, us, yeah, for our our meetings and, and yeah, how we conduct our business. And according to the bylaws, it's it's the board. Um, okay, well, thank you. Thank you. Um, yes. So, uh, are we in agreement that um, Sean will bring back a, a uh, finalized version for vote uh, approval next next meeting? Yep. Yes. Take, uh, I'll just take a vote so that we can all be, be official. Okay, so those <laughs> all in favor of uh, Sean bringing back a, a final version of the bylaws for adoption at the next meeting, please say aye or raise your hand. We're good to go. All right. We're official. I'm going to save that. And then I'm going to save it and subpoena. That's fantastic. Thank you very much for, for uh, clarifying a lot of things in that. We shouldn't have any issues. We've at least been compliant for our next meeting. How long after that one? <laughs> how, 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 you know, what goes on at the state level or city, but for now, we're in compliance. Um, and and so I don't think we can have you because, I mean, we're just community volunteers. Right. Like, I don't know how to do bylaws. Right. right? <laughs> we thank you. Oh, I'm telling you. Well, we are so fortunate. <laughs> we have Sean had to be able to go through that. I bet. Yeah, I believe. I, I could have like gone through. I, I should have done more, but like they, there's usually like state requirements. It, we seem to have been. We seem to be meeting all the minimum cool. state requirements, but um, so because we're not like a nonprofit, we have to do so I think we're good. I think we're. Good. We're almost wrapped up. We probably have like five more minutes. Okay, great job. Yes, perfect. Okay. Thank you again very, very much. Okay, so the last thing we have on the agenda for today is uh, an update on the trustee search. So I'm going to hand that over to Jandy again. Um, so it's Friday and um, Monday, Tuesday, we met with three candidates. Um, it was myself, um, the mayor, and one of the board members. So it was Brad, who was serving on our search committee. Um, one of our candidates ended up dropping out because they were selected to join the Parks and Arts Commission. Um, so we just had two really good candidates and we're hoping to make an offer to one of them by the end of this week. So once we know officially who it is, we will tell you. Um, but they will be in it. We're hoping to have them in attendance at our next board meeting and to have them um, approved by the city council at the first meeting in January. Two very good candidates. Yes. Very good cast, eager to serve, which is exciting. 
Okay. Is that it, Jandy? Yes. Okay. All right. Uh, does anybody have anything in particular they would like to have on our agenda besides the um, bylaws? <laughs> bylaws for approval will be on there for the next. Do we have any other policies that we need to take a look at? I know we have to get the meeting room policy, we've got to get the uh, collection review policy, are there at those extension policies? Are there any others? I think mean, at some meeting, we should at least bring through and yeah. see if any need to be updated. Perhaps we could go through them in our January meeting and identify which ones we want to go through during the 2023 year. Perfect. I think that's a great idea. We, have a, we need to add a vote for president and secretary. Okay. For the the well, <laughs> uh, well, I guess not yeah. because they wouldn't have been voted in yet, but we should. No, they be should be anyway. Um, no, we think, vote them in first. No, I think that's we, we need to yeah. do that. Um, and we, we should have our, should do that after we have our board member on. Yes, because uh, they will be approved. Well, they have been approved by the city council by the time we have. Yes, they go. Oh, if, so. if it goes smoothly, they will be appointed on the third and on the eleventh. So the next meeting date is on the eleventh. How are we on, um, like the new building? Like, like maybe, like, are there things the board needs to be doing for that? Or in January is when we are slated to start um, putting out an RFQ for an architect. Um, but I think most of that will be handled at the city level. Well, hopefully, Mark can give us some updates on that um, as as we move uh, along in. January and February, because I know, again, the RFQ for an architect, and there were some other other things that were supposed to come online at the, uh, this coming year too, as far as moving that uh, that building along. So, Mark, can you do you have a comment uh, for us? Yeah. So, what I would propose is that um, going forward, that just becomes a regular item on my report that I can keep you updated on. Perfect. Regularly. Perfect. Yeah. I would that, appreciate that a lot. That, that would be great as we move forward. Um, well, anyway, we'll, we'll just, be, yeah, things will happen as we go along. We'll, we'll have, I'm sure, have many questions and answers as, as we move along as well. Okay, so I, wanna, I think I missed something. I want to make sure. So we have bylaws for approval, vote for president and secretary. I know I missed one. What was the other one? There was one. The, one. We're going to review the library policies review the library and policy. determine which ones we are going to um, review in 2023. Review policies for upcoming year. Mm -hmm. Okay. Library policies. All right. Think we have it. Anybody have anything else? All right, thank you guys. Have a very great holiday. And this meeting is adjourned. Thank you very much. Thank you.